I found myself up to my neck in the war before I knew it. Before I saw it coming. I was never much for politics. The rivalries between the ward guilds was something that didn't concern me. I was a teenager, and I had my own set of problems. Thinking back, I was a pretty carefree kid living a good life. My friends and I got together to talk and do nothing most every night. And then one morning, the soldiers came to take me away, me and a lot of other guys from the neighborhood, to defend the guild. I think I was actually proud at first. They gave me a uniform and a gun. And then I understood. Up close, war doesn't make you a hero. It makes you tired. It's nothing more than bloody marches. Blistering days, men stacked up against each other in sweaty trenches, stinking, covered in lice. So exhausted we can't sleep, shaking from the thought of what the next night will bring. The night, infernal marches, tramping through blood and shit. Herded like cattle by overzealous officers, sending wave after wave of idiots like me, off to get butchered, screaming at us like it was all our fault. Stupid kids who shit themselves at the first sight of a blade, and cried like babies when ordered back to the front. It could have gone on like that, until I ended up face down in the dirt, but I was one of the lucky ones, captured, and stuck in a wagon full of guys I barely knew. They rounded us up and tossed us in a cattle car, packed in like mutants, and sent us far away behind enemy lines. I don't know if it's night or day. I completely lost track of time. Nothing really mattered to me anymore. You are now in Camp 19. If you watch your step, we will get along just fine. Prisoners to Camp 19. Get off the train and stand in line. They shoved us out, lined us up, and welcomed us to our new home. You're about to meet the sand pit. I want every one of you clean within the hour. You will then be taken to the registration office. You will inform them of what you know how to do, and you will be assigned a post and a bunk. Now, get going. Fall out. A new day. At least we got a chance to clean ourselves up, even if all we had was sand. Get a load of these fillers. Fresh meat. Uh, it just makes my day. I was getting tired of drilling the same old asses. Hey, you're not bad looking either. Get out. Yeah, you got a real pretty mouth. <laughs> What 
do you want? Can't go your tongue. What are you, special? Is that it? Huh? You a nutcase. Maybe you get off watching. Go take a seat. After all, this is the only entertainment you'll get in here. <laughs> Isn't that right, guys? Don't stop yakking, will ya? Spit it out, you got something to say. <sighs> What's that? Speak up! Nobody can understand your squeaking, boy. We want to find you, we will. This place ain't big enough to hide from us. You're crazy. You need to be put down. Uh, <laughs> what are you, insane? You looking for pain? You mental? Fucked in the head? Nah, nah, I don't need this. You're already dead. Sick fuck. Just think about what you're gonna do to this poor bitch. Brings a tear to my eye. I, I just can't watch. I'm sensitive. Forget it, guys. This cunt's not normal. I don't want to catch what he's got. Hey, uh, thanks. Thanks for the help. It's history. Forget it. I wasn't gonna just stand here and watch him. How are you doing? Better. It's weird. I, I feel better than I have in a while. Thanks again. Forget it. You need to toughen up fast if you want to survive here. Look, I'm going, and I advise you to follow. You need to keep moving. There's nothing but bad endings here. <laughs> that fat guy gets you in a corner. Uh, I'm leaving now.
shit, this stuff is finished, I'll never be able to fix it here. And they'll never change it. Aw, oh, fuck me. Hey, hey, I'm working. I'm not here to shoot the shit. You just seem to be spinning your wheels, is all. Shit, this camp's a ruin. I don't have what I need to repair the thermal conductors or the sand pump. And I need something to tighten these bolts. And of course, my wrench is broken. I'm keeping busy, though. I can always unblock the sand extractor. I'm not too busy just now. Can I give you a hand? Looking for something in exchange, I guess? <laughs> if you can dig up some parts and a wrench, I'll be grateful. But I already took everything in the stock, and I got no idea where to look now. What exactly do you need? I need two resistors, three bits of sheet metal, and a number nine wrench. I'll get that for you. If you can do that, man, pretty much a wasteland equipment-wise around here. <laughs> Why help the mechanic? I mean, even if he seems all right, he's still an enemy. Yeah, true, but I think it could be useful for us to get on his good side. He could give us equipment or serum. Fun. I hope she's still wet, cause I'm gonna ride her hard. Been waiting for you. Me and the guys decided that we didn't appreciate your attitude. You may be crazy, but even if you're too fucked up to know when to open your mouth, we've decided we'll show you how to close it. Right, time to teach you some manners, darling. Live and learn. Oh, you're history, you little prick. 
to the infirmary. They nearly got killed. <clears throat> uh. <sighs> it's the same thing. Every time we get new arrivals, always gets them excited. Some days I wish I was at the front. You... You, you could have killed them. What do you think those bastards would have done to us if it had been our faces buried in the sand? You gotta do what it takes. By the way, the name is Roy, and yours? My name's Innocence. Roy? Aren't you from Aurora? Afraid so. They called me Temperance back then, but I chose Roy. Those virtue names aren't really my thing. Oh, okay. I guess Temperance doesn't fit. You look a little out of your element, kid. How'd you end up here? The war, I guess. Just like everyone else. And I do belong here. Uh, I've done some things. I know how to defend myself. It's just that it's taken me a while to get my feet back under me. Well then, now that I see you can walk, I might have something you can do for me. Not as your... your bitch, right? Why? You applying? As a matter of fact, I was hoping you could help me get out of here. Alone? It's impossible, but... Two of us. Yeah, let's go to the mess hall. We need to find a place where we can talk. Okay, I'm right behind you. Hey, Roy, just wanted to tell you, everyone's talking about how you took out the fat guy. He was embarrassing the entire Aurora army. Here, take this. A little thank you. Huh, thanks.
what you did, but Bob was looking for you a couple minutes back. He's on guard in the next block. Guess he wants to talk to me about the fat guy. Thanks for the info. No problem. Later. Strange. Looks rabid. Hmm. I'll have to talk to the kennel master. Thanks for helping out, Roy. We'll take over now. Sorry. The dog attacked you, really? I don't understand. Usually the guy that takes care of them trains them really well before letting them go. By the way, I heard you kicked ass with that fat guy and his gang. It's true. And to be honest, he got off easy. You know, even if my comrades had to get involved, I really think most of them are glad you did what you did. I know that even with you people, this guy would have ended up in front of a firing squad. But here you're prisoners of war. And playing cop? Not your role, really. Even if that guy is a real bastard who should have never been in the army. If I understand right, you're happy, but you think you've got to preach to him. You know what that fat bastard wanted to do to me, right? I know, but it's our responsibility. If I'd thought you wanted to participate, I'd have called. But to be honest, kicking his head in was something I just really had to do. <laughs> that makes you laugh? Anyway. As far as taking part goes, I might have turned it down. You that bored? If you only knew. Guard duty sucks. Anyway, gotta get back to it regardless. Keep going.
Hey, so you finally taught the fat guy a lesson, huh? Ha! <laughs> that fucking vermin, good one! Hey, Roy. So, I heard you took that... Yeah, he asked for it. So the kid... Hey, good one, buddy. You took... Absol... Head into the mess, make sure you watch your step. Don't even think about it. Nice of you to worry about me and all, but. Cut the bullshit! I heard. He was looking for some action. He got. Get out of here and go blow it somewhere else. You hear? Go do some gardening. Hey, what the fuck are you doing? I'm thinking, damn it. You mean you're sleeping? This ain't bridge with your grandma. assistant like you. Here's some serum. It's all I can give you. Still need parts? Not just now. I'm getting back to work now. Yes? Come on, let's go. blocked for the moment.
move it. Get over the state of those guys that came back up a while back. You gotta ask yourself if they really know what they're doing and record. Keep moving! What do you want? There's a shitload of knives stashed around this place. You don't try to come. Way too many for us to do anything about it. You can turn any tiny tube or spoon into a weapon, and so we just ignore them. And you get this straight. If your prisoners made trouble, our own... They've been there long? Where do the most come from? You know, this camp used to be a water well, and those bugs can smell... It draws them, and they go around the facilities for the humidity. And if we don't chase them away, they end up piercing the... Your boss? The Technomancer, Sean? Sorry, prisoner, but I'd rather not talk about that. That man looks really scary. Well, all the Technomancers are scary, actually. Show me what
stuck here briefing the poor bastards who get sent to the slaughter. What can I do for you, prisoner? Been here long? A while, yeah. Got sent here real early. Before that, I was at the front, too. Then I took an arrow to the knee. An arrow? That's gonna leave a mark. Yeah. And since then, I've been a guard here. Not much happens, but at least I'm good for something. And your Technomancer. Oh, I wouldn't really say that. Like all of the Technomancers, he's real strict. In love with protocol. Hierarchy's everything for him. Don't see him chill too often. Except that since he got that apprentice, she's real pretty, but, well... See ya. Right. dog like that. Holy shit, what is wrong with them? That's the second I've seen attack for no reason. We already had to kill one near the sand pit. And I had to put down two more in the kennel. God damn. The one that attacked me earlier had filming eyes, just like this one. And I've never seen those kind of patches on a dog. Me neither, but I also noticed those patches on the animals I had to put down. I'll check the other dogs, but it's kind of worrying. It looks like they caught something. Could it be an epidemic? What if it can be passed on to humans? Just when I thought this place couldn't get any worse. It is. All the more reason to find out what we can about this disease. So, any news? Nothing for now. Nothing to do there right now. It'd just get me in a heap of shit.
What? Once, man. Where are you from? We are the dust of abundance. Decent? Yeah, I figured you were from abundance. It has been said, we... You always been in... Yes, we were born monsters, beasts, not man. I gotta go. What do you want with me? Where are the mutants? We are nearly all old. There is no new generation here. We are descendants of those who chose... Huh. Hmm. You doubt? And yet the Eternal Avenger has... Per you were... Yes. As are all of the mutants in this camp. We are the descendants of the... F and I prefer it. In a way, you seem very devout. Faith is perhaps the only thing left to us. I gotta go. Yes, man. Where did you? I know not. I have always. You always dust. I'll let you get. somewhere quiet.
Can I do anything for you? No, don't think so. Hey, we never had the chance to talk. I heard about Fatso. That took some balls, man. I'm Roy. Actually, I just... Yeah, okay, I knew. Got any news from the... A couple of scraps from the new arrivals. Seems like there was a huge battle at Green Hope. More like... And? Hey, man, same as everybody. The ones who send bastards like you and me to die for them. Don't matter for guys like us who wins in the end. That said, it looks like our side won this one. Our big man wisdom and general honor are tipping the scales our way. Hmm. You think it could mean the end of the war? Yeah. But not for us, buddy. It'll be months before we get back home. And that's if Abundance even sends us back. You know the guards here? <laughs> Shit, yeah. I'm one of those who's been here since day one. I was a scout. You know, in the end, they're, they're just like us. There's good guys and there's assholes. Like, Bob's a good guy, but... Yeah, he's not like the others. The rest of them really play by the book. Abundance has these... Uh, don't try and tell me you prefer Aurora's bullshit. Or you wouldn't be calling yourself Aurora. The gods walk the line here, tighter than we do. Their system's rigid, and they're scared shitless of their... His name's Sean. Not the greatest guy in the world, but hey... You're not kidding. Know how to use a weapon. Yeah, like all of us, I guess. I was only a scout, but I had one, you know. Even if it's not much. So what's your specialty? I get what I need, for starters. Make some things, collect others. I know where to find stuff and who to trade with, and who can do what for who. And also... Imp you can say that. That's it for now. Nothing to do there right now. It'd just get me in a heap of shit. star but it's safe no one fights in the mess now we can talk in private what did you want to talk to me about keep your voice down this is a sensitive matter I'm planning on breaking out of here it'll be tough doing it on my own probably impossible but with what happened I thought you might want to get out I th this sounds like a dream do you have a plan I've been working on this for a while, but I'm gonna need you and it's gonna take some balls. Sure you're up for this? Of course. I don't like being locked up any more than the next guy. If my first day is any indication of what's to come, you know? Good, then listen up. This place is here for a reason. Crumbling wall, guards who don't give a shit, and surrounded by desert. But if you're outside when the sun rises, you'll bake in your boots right before your eyes melt. I get it. Then how are we doing this? There's only one way. We have to steal the train that brings the prisoners here. But that's a... I mean, you're tough and all, but how can you pull something like that off? I want you to volunteer to work for the electric station in camp. You'll use the job to check out how they protect the train, everything about it. But once you get the info, with a little luck on my end, I'll have picked up some weapons. All that we'll have left to do is break in, knock out the electric barriers, and we're out of here. But we already have weapons, don't we? These toys aren't gonna do much against armed guards. They got armor. We need guns, at least. And I've got a good idea how we're gonna get them. Shit, guys! It's hitting the fan down there! Those Abundance bastards sent some of our boys back in pieces again! Holy shit! Are they dead? If they're not, they're as good as. Bet those assholes are gonna come back with their sign-up speech again. More food if you go down and do some cleaning. Yeah, except it's more food for those fucking bugs. Thanks, but I'll give it a miss. They can do their own cleaning. Perfect. This is exactly what I was hoping for. What? What are they talking about? The drilling well keeps getting overrun by moles. And because the grunts have better things to do than get rid of the vermin themselves, they sent prisoners in with weapons to take them out. I'm gonna volunteer. The 
idea is to bluff them, to get them to believe that you're an electrical genius. Don't worry, I'm gonna back you up. Yeah, I was born with a light bulb hanging over my head. Didn't I tell you? Don't overdo it, or they'll take you for a technomancer. As long as you don't start farting sparks, it should work. But come on, let's go. This stuff is finished, I'll never be able to fix it here. And they'll never change it. Aw, oh, fuck me. Hey, you're working in a different part of the camp, but you still look stuck. Ah, no, but this camp is a real hole. A million things to rip. I can't pull the parts out of my hat, and that asshole in procurement didn't fall. Oh, when they see the Technomancer, they shit themselves, but when it comes to working, they're no... What do you need? Four coils and some copper wire. Not easy finding good copper wire around here. You... Mike can always try. Thanks, Roy. That would really... This time, I'm writing to the boss. That dickweed's not getting away with it. He doesn't realize he's fucking everyone in the camp over. Move it. What'd you do before the war? I, 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 it, nothing sp sp Great. Look, answer yes or no. N n n n I said yes or no. N n n no, S Sarge. All right, buddy. Look, I'll put you in the kitchen and you'll peel the first name, last name. Innocent Smith. Innocent? Shit, I'll never get used to these names. Sorry, buddy, but your innocence doesn't stand much of a chance around here, if it's not already gone. Apprentice electrician, you said. You start learning the job? Really? Yes, Sergeant. I'd probably be a master electrician today. But the war... you know. Fine, fine. We'll put you in the power plant. For once, we'll have somebody remotely qualified for it. Poor kid. Those Aurora bastards take him young. First name, last name, for... Temperance, actually. But don't sweat it. I never got used to it either. What do you want? Didn't we already get... Yeah, you did. I unload equipment crates. But... Yeah, that's true. And you're good at fighting, right? They say you kicked the sh... You know, the last guys who went down there didn't come back in good shape, right? I know, but moving crates is boring me shitless. Very well. I'll reassign you. Go talk to the guards at the top of the drilling well. But don't come bitching to me if you're missing an arm when you come back up. So you're going down there to beat up on some monsters like some hero? That's the plan. Don't worry about it. And I'm not the Lone Ranger type. Try to look around without getting caught and we'll meet up again some... Wait. Uh, I was just wondering. What's your reason for doing all... My deep sense of patriotism? No. Actually, I can't stand being locked up and doing the dirty work for the guys I was fighting not so long ago. I'd kind of like to... I understand.
Oh! You want... Yeah, I've been to the recruitment office and they gave their... Hey, aren't you the guy who fought with the Fat Ones gang and nearly killed them? Yeah, sorry I didn't pull it off. Would have made one less pig... To... Yeah, and a loudmouth, too. Hey, listen, we'll see if you can make those bugs down there. Take a gun from the counter at the back, just in case they don't... And don't even think of fucking around with it. Only... All right, then, the action... Hey! Your butt. Hey! Your buddies... I came to get a gun. Here. The charges are fully loaded, so you shouldn't have any... But if you come across the guys from the last squad, the ones who didn't come back up, I mean... All right, I'll have... Perfect. Hurry up. I always gotta be hungry, don't I? Or I'd never go down there. Are you serious? If that's the only reason, you should have maybe stood back. I hope you know how to use that thing. Them bugs don't just dance. I know, that's what's freaking me out. You see those guys that came back up? No, and I prefer it that way. <laughs> At least I'm not shitting myself like you. Now, it... All right, whatever. Just don't expect me to go first when we get... Right. This way we can take care of the nests by ourselves and get the bounty. Bounty? They didn't tell you? There's a bounty if you destroy the nests. Guards will give you extra stuff. So far I haven't heard a lot of squads getting that far, but hey, you can always dream, right? before the others showed up. Give it a shot next time.
fuck are you doing? These guys are already pretty ugly dead. The guard up top said if we came across the last squad, we should look for anything useful, so...
You're not a little, like, nuts or something? What are you thinking of doing with these... We can't go back up with all this stuff, but if I tell the guards where to find them... Shit, never thought a bounty would get you heated up like that sobriety, prick. Guys, you see that? And? Don't feel like you're letting us do all the dirty work, huh? Not like we need a distraction, you know? Seriously, look! Looks like some metallic stuff down this hole. That's the Bugs Tunnels. Far as I know, they don't use metal for supports. That's fucking weird, man. Almost looks like pre turmoil shit. Stuff built by the colonists. Holy shit! You sure? Relics? I said almost. We gotta go back up fast and tell the guards. We'll get triple rations. You sure got a problem with food. I'm with you on that, though. And anyway, who knows what's down there? Better we tell them to go down and see for themselves. Come on, we're done. Let's go see the guards. Okay, let's go. Why the fuck are you doing there? Sick of it already? Your shift's not over yet. That's not it. I found something down there. Well, well, let's see. And just what did you find, your asshole? Must have been something for a jerk-off like you. Nah, seriously? There's some kind of debris down one of those holes there. Metal stuff. The guy over here says they're relics from the colonists. Him? But the guy's a joker. God damn it, you're not getting me in shit for some joke from that asshole. Everyone back to the turbine. Look, I know I'm not always serious, but right now, I'm telling you there really is manufactured metal down in those tunnels, and it looks really old. Seeing as how I doubt their presence to make life easier for us working slobs, I suggest you tell your superior. Fine. I'll have him informed. But if it's bullshit, you'll pay. told you found something suspicious. Report, soldier. Yes, sir. The cleaning squad went down, but they came back early, saying they found some metallic debris in one of the tunnels. The prisoner says they're relics. Uh, I thought I should tell you. If they actually are relics and not the fantasies of a group of gullible fools, you did the right thing, soldier. So, prisoner, describe what you saw and what makes you think it was relics unless you happen to be an expert. I'm not the one who said they were relics, sir. I'm, uh... He did. I just saw metal scraps down a hole in it. Enough. You, speak. There really is metallic debris in one of the tunnels dug by the moles. Old metal, manufactured. That's why I think it could be what's left of some colonial facility. 
And do you have much experience with colonial facilities? Not really. It's just a guess. Well, well. A smart prisoner. This camp is chock full of surprises. Mary, my dear, do go down and see what this is all about, will you? Tell me if our local genius here is right or wrong. Yes, Master. And take him with you. With someone else. Give me a report. And... Mary? Don't take any unnecessary risks. Yes, Master. It's here. We didn't go down. The debris looked strange, so we went back up immediately. Oh, really? Really? You were right. It does look like pre-turmoil ruins. A lot of people would have just mistaken it for drilling machinery. What did you do before the war? Well, I... What the... The Queen! Just do what I fucking... 
I'm done here. No way I'm sticking around. You stay with your girlfriend. What in the world? Mary, whatever your name is, drop some fluid now. We need a powerful shock to collapse this tunnel, or that thing will follow us. But what about the relics? No, we can't just... Just do it, damn it! I'm gonna try to draw them deeper into the cave. We haven't got a lot of time! Such a shame. We'll never know what was in the tunnel now. Maybe we could send in a squad to clean out the rubble. With that creature down there? With all due respect, ma'am, I don't know many people with the guts to do that. You told me exactly what to do. How is it that you know so much about the powers of technomancy? I worked with one, once. Nothing more. Is that so? Fine then, let's return. I must report this. Roy, if you need a hand for a job or something, They were indeed relics from pre-Termal times. They were? The tunnels were inhabited by a queen who had to run away and collapse the tunnel. I failed, Master. I'm sorry. Mary, I am sure you did what had to be done. I told you not to take any unnecessary risks, and you did not. You did well. Sorry, but it's kind of dark down there, and we were under pressure. Shit. Think we're gonna have to send out a patrol. We can't leave those guys lying around in the tunnels. Too bad about the reward. Come on, get out. Keep moving!
nothing to do there right now. It'd just get me in a heap of shit. So? Here. Shit, this pencil pushes around here could learn a lesson from you. When I think you's running the camp and it's a prisoner that gets our equipment. Listen, I'm still looking for equipment, so what I propose is to trade for anything like that in exchange. If you need stuff, I'll let you browse through my... What you got in stock?
Hey, Doc, you know anything about... They're not exactly my specialty. I know more about two-legged animals, you know. Why? The camp dogs are going crazy and attacking everything that moves. Ah. Huh. I have the feeling there'll soon be more visits to the infirmary. And if people can get it, it could get serious. You sure we can get it? I well, can't be sure. We have to check the animals, find out what they have. I don't have the equipment to do that kind of thing here. But I'm certain of one thing, and that's that we can't take their risk. I'm afraid the dogs will have to be put down. If it's possible to find a cure, I'd really prefer giving it a shot. Animal lover, huh? Well, in that case, I can't help you. Find a vet. Okay now? Feel better? I'm fine, sir. All right. The access looks blocked for the moment. Nothing to do there right now. It'd just get me in a heap of shit. Hey, buddy. Ah, haven't heard that for a while. Yeah, I'm a vet. What do you want a vet for? I don't know, maybe you heard. The dogs are going crazy and attacking everyone. There's these strange white patches on their bodies. Shit. Okay. I'll need samples of the patches. And their saliva, too. And with what we got here to do the analysis with... Uh, I'll need some materials. I'll go see the dog master. With a bit of luck, I'll be able to take some samples. Well, the doc said people might be able to get it. The doc doesn't know anything about animals. I understand why he's worried, but still, to each his job. All right, I'll bring you this. Move it. What can I do for you, prisoner? Any news about the... Huh? What can I do for you, prisoner? I'm kind of... Sorry, but I can't... Too bad. See ya. Right.
Bare knuckle king. What do you? But you don't look so. Good. Yeah. So you understand? Hey, the bare knuckle. But you don't look. Yeah. here and go blow it. Here, I have the samples you need. Uh, not easy to find a cure with this type of infection. But we can make a vaccine for them. All right. Hey, you really think I just waved my magic wand to do this kind of analysis? All right, all right. Nothing to do there right now. They just get me in a heap of shit. Hey, Roy, what can I do for you? Actually, I... Yeah, okay. That's it for...
news? I'm making headway, but I'm not fit. All right. used to be so friendly. What's wrong with it? I still can't get over my own dog going for me. He wasn't acting normal. Several of the dogs have been attacking people for no reason lately. The cook found a vaccine, but... Nice animal. And a good dog. I mean, usually. No problem. What can I do for you, prisoner? Any news about... Huh? You want to trade anything? Not for them. Listen, it's all real nice, gotta admit. But can you tell me? You're one of the only ones we can talk with here. Yeah, yeah, I bet. You're not gonna need persuading, are you? I'm fine. So if you're bored, go for a walk. Anything. Hey. You don't want to listen, it's all real. All right, but not about me, okay? And? Huh. Got nothing to tell you. It's just horrible here. Always the same stuff to do. I'm bored to death. First I get sent to the front, then here to watch over a bunch of guys. I never asked to be a soldier. Okay, I make some money, but it's not like I can spend it here. What's a good... Wife back home, maybe? Yeah. Things were good, just the two of us before the war. We were even thinking about having a kid, and then... You could get a pass or something. Maybe you could get transferred. Obvious you're not abundance. No such thing as passes. If I get sent anywhere, I'll be sent to the front. You know. There's got to be a way. Yeah. If I was to get declared an invalid, it's the only way. Mm -hmm. 
I could break your arm. You're sick? No. To get sent back home? I gotta get sick, for example. Something I would have liked to set it up with the doc. But if you turn me in, I could get shot. I might come up with a way to get you out of here. I shouldn't have talked to you about it. If anyone finds out I want a dessert, it's me. Hey, Doc. You... I have something... Uh, no problem. Doctor, patient... <laughs> no, uh, not that personal, actually. I got this friend here, a guard. He can't take being... I do, yes. He wants to get a medical discharge. Come on, Doc, don't you need any... And here I thought I was being perfectly clear. I do... Get out of here. I got better things to... Any news? I'm making head... All right. Get out of here and go blow it some... Hey, Roy, what can I do? Actually... Yeah, okay. That's it. Hey, buddy. If it's food you want, get it yourself. Well, there's that, but I still need... You don't know what you want? I need something that'll make whoever eats it. You're the one who's sick. Why would I give you some... To help someone. Shit, Roy. You know... We're both prisoners. The only thing they'll do is throw us in the hole. They're not gonna execute us. Unless they think we did it on purpose. Well, I can't see anyone telling them, but... Anyway, get some mildew for me. That'll be enough to make your buddy sick. Mildew? Huh. Oh. Nothing to do there right now. It'd just get me in a heap of shit.
found some milk. Great. Give me that shit, and I'll whip. Uh, I get the impression there's a lot. The wrong amount could be dangerous. Should I? Go on. All of it. So nobody thinks it's an act. Yeah, it's ready. Watch it. The dish is hot. That shit looks almost tasty. <laughs> Thanks. Up. Supposed to make you sick. Not very nice, but should get you sick. You serious? But, uh. I hope not. I'd hate myself, but apparently you should only be sick for a couple of days. Thanks, Roy. Never thought anybody would help me, let alone a prisoner. Bon appetit, and. Uh... Seen. On top of that, I'm pretty sure there's no risk, apart from getting bitten. The type of fungus the doc- And you did all that? In the kitchen? Not like I had much of a choice. The doc didn't want me over at his place. Scared of pig- It's true that the kitchen's a lot safer to avoid anyone getting infected. It's not as if all the prisoners- Whatever. Give me the vaccines. I'll take them to the dog master. do for you, prisoner. Any news about the... Huh? So, any news? It's getting worse here, even though I isolated... Relax. The cook made a vaccine, says it... Thanks. Nice of you. If hadn't been for you, all of the camp dogs had gone crazy and attacked everybody. Our technomancer barbered you guys for less than that. Here, take this. It ain't much, but if it can help you out. Thanks. 